everybody and welcome back to the O'Neill Team channel. Seems we have some visitors outside. That worries me. So anyway, welcome back to Subnautica and as you can see they have updated the game. And from what I understand the big ship, the Aurora, is now indeed explorable but you do have to wait until it explodes. I'm not exactly sure why, but there's also apparently radiation that spreads, so not only will it stop near the Aurora, it will also continue to explore, which does worry me. So, a spare tank, a wiring kit, a builder, and a compass. Um, I wonder if the equipment you start off with is random. Am I, am I moving a lot faster than I used to? I feel like I am. Okay, what the hell is that noise? There's the Aurora. As you can tell, it doesn't look like a painted on image anymore. It doesn't really look like a JPEG image anymore. But ultimately, they've made... Oh. There we go. They've made significant improvements to the game, from what I can understand. And... Okay, whatever that is needs to shut up. Okay, I believe that might be a Reaper Leviathan. From what I understand, a Reaper Leviathan is one of the larger, I think it's possibly the largest creature in the game currently. And it's extremely hostile, as you can probably imagine. And it stays round by the Aurora's radiation zone. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe it feeds off the radiation. They've also upgraded it to Unity 5 instead of Unity 4. And they've, on the post that they did on the Steam forums, or whatever it was on the store page, they've claimed to have made uh, performance upgrades as well, which we'll just have to really wait and see because, let's face it, we're gonna have to wait and see, but that annoys. Bloody hell. I thought the reef backs had a really good noise, but that, whatever that noise is, I don't know how you would describe that noise. A bellow, I guess? Oh! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell just hit me? Yeah, I guess nothing hit me. Oh yeah, look. Each uh, vehicle has its own unique beacon now, from what I can understand. So... I do apologize, I am still a little bit with a cold, the so... Oh! Zero life signs detected. Lethal radiation levels detected. The main drive core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. Yeah. That basically means bad shit is about to happen. It should take a few in-game days for the Aurora to explode, and when it does explode, you will then be able to explore the Aurora. I'm not too sure how. I'd imagine... I know you need a radiation suit. I'm not too sure how you get the radiation suit, but I know you can... But I know you need a radiation suit. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is gather up some resources. So like salt, quartz, copper, that sort of thing. We need scrap metal to make titanium. And with the builder, we can make an underwater base. But I don't think we need to just yet. As we've got the life pod. So if you haven't noticed, I've also started a new game. So cooked peeper. Cooked boomerang. Advanced wiring gets all the items are now here in the menus as well, not just the items you have. Radiation protection. Yeah, you need the radiation suit, but you need two lead, two silicone, and two titanium. So that's new. So let's make some titanium. I don't think I have that many scrap metals on me, so I'll probably only get about six titanium. And then I have two quartz. How much? How many quartz do I have exactly? 
Come on, how many quartz do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. No, I have four. So I can make two silicone or one glass. Don't really need glass, I don't think so. Let's go with the knife. We'll make silicone. There we go. Tools. Knife. Oh, now I'll put this on one. Because we don't need the builder just yet. Let's analyze the Seamoth fragment. That might take a while. And then start working on what we need so let's didn't I get a compass like we want to get the radiation suit so we can explore the Aurora but we can't explore the Aurora until it explodes so this may take a while so the first so a rebreather might be good and we can afford another silicone so let's make a rebreather. There you go. And rebreather. And that's that's automatically equipped. Okay. And that's doing that. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed the first recording session of um, me, Logan and Islands Age of Wonders <laughs> playthrough. It was really, really good. I enjoy playing that game of those two. <laughs> They are an insane bunch, but what the hell, we have fun. So... I... I... what the... Uh, that... noise is just gonna freak me out. I don't trust it. I really don't trust it. Okay, I know I need these. No, 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 no. It's the jewel discs, isn't it? Those are corals and chunks. Those are coral shell plates. Here are the jewel discs. Or gem discs. Uh, we'll get one more, that should be enough. How many fragments of that do we have? We got a couple. More scrap metal. Always useful. Coral, we can make bleach. Then we can make water. I think. And that's how that goes. Copper. How did I not notice that? Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, 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 yeah. I miss playing this game. It's so beautiful. Let's have a look down in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I feel like I've just gone into the maw of a beast. That is what this feels like. Oh, gimme. Lots of limestone deposits. Inventory's full. Okay, let's head back to the life pod. And we can store some of our stuff away. We swim quicker if we don't have anything equipped at the moment. And personally, I don't like the idea of being out here at night. <laughs> Something about it just itches me the wrong way. There's quartz down there. Caution. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. So what that means is the Aurora is close to exploding. That's what I gathered from that anyway. The sensitivity is really up on this. So we're going to put the jewel discs away because we don't really need them yet. I just want to check to see if it is the coral fragments we need for the bleach. Is it the bleach? How do we make bleach? Bleach, salt deposit, and calcium chunk. Okay, that makes sense. How many of those can I make? I can only make one. And then that should make disinfected water. Lasting water source. Okay. And now that should... H2O plus 30. We don't really need that right now. We need food. So I can put that away. I can put 
these away, I can put the builder away, put these away, I can put, do I want to put the copper away? What can we use the copper for? Uh, the copper we can use for copper wire. Um, or anything that in here that needs copper. We can make a constructor, which wouldn't really take that long. Or we can make a sea glide. And a power system. Oh, there we go. And the battery, where's the battery? Battery just needs acid mushrooms. Well, it says acid, but I'm pretty sure that just means acid mushrooms. Don't we have acid mushrooms? No. Nope. And down we go. Oh, this is so dark. Don't like being out during the night. Let's just grab a bunch of acid mushrooms. I swear, if I see something swimming towards me, I am going to scream like a girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we make a battery? Yes, we can. A little bit of a bug there, I think. Sea glide. What do I need for the sea glide? Where is it? Here we go. Copper wire and a power cell. A power cell. Need two batteries and silicone. Yeah, that looks just like a bug. Silicone. We need quartz for. Oh, there we go. So let's get the scrap iron, scrap metal turned into titanium. I got a cup of tea with me, which I'm going to take a sip of. Ah, love a good cup. Of. Okay. So what else do I need to make the constructor? Titanium ingot and a power cell. Okay. Or we can make a Z glide. Power cell and copper wire. One power cell, if I can find it. Here we go. One power cell, we need silicone for a couple wire. We have quartz, don't we? No, we do not. Okay, I'm just going to munch on these. Vital signs stabilizing. Here we go. And then I can put all these away. Oh, what am I doing? I thought I was in the storage thing. There we go. Okay, that's filled that up. Now we need quartz. And there was some quartz around. Like there's one right there. I don't like those guys. They release like gas, liquid, gel type substance that hurts. It's toxic. More scrap iron. I keep calling it scrap iron. I'm used to scrap iron. More scrap metal. Which is always good. Shut up, Reaper! I'm pretty sure that's the Reaper Leviathan. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, that's a crash. I think that might be a crash. Well, there's stalkers, which are always... I wouldn't say welcome, but they're a normal, they're a natural sight, so we don't really have to worry about them. Come on, give me that, uh, give me that metal. Keep <laughs> rolling it out here. Okay, where is the quartz? I'm pretty sure the Reaper Leviathan doesn't leave, um, leave the vicinity of the Aurora. I'm pretty sure that thing will just stay by the Aurora. Come on, come on, come on, get the quartz. Got it, now swim! Swim for your life! Do not go into the darkness! Here we go. So I should have enough to make silicone, which will allow me to make a power cell, which will allow me to make the sea glide. Or do we want to go for the constructor? Because then we can make a um, sea moth. Or not. Constructor, titanium ingot, and a power cell. We have enough titanium to make a titanium Warning. cell. Readings from the Aurora oh. exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the dark matter containment field. Spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur with a probability of 83.5%. 
yeah, the Aurora is going to blow. I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably very soon, but it is going to blow. So we'll make Titanium Agar. And then, the Constructor. Of that, I hope my laptop can handle that. It's a proper gaming laptop, but you never know. Let's let this go. There we go. How do I get on you? There we go. Now use vehicles, Seamoth, a rugged submersible, and a cyclops. I need a power cell, two glass, and copper ore. Okay, that isn't that bad. So, really all we need is quartz and copper. I think we've got copper. I'm pretty sure I have quite a bit of copper. So, what we really need then is, um, quartz. Come here. I need you. I can make a, I can make an air bladder out of you. I'm pretty sure that's what I can make out of you. Also, if you notice uh, more episodes coming up on the channel, that's because I used to record and the setting, the videos would be saved to my laptop, which is probably why why it was lagging so much because it got filled up really, really quick, especially if I did longer episodes. So I'm saving the recorded episodes to my um, terabyte hard drive now, which is where I usually save all the vi the created videos and such. That's where all the intros and the previous videos are. But I'm saving all the recordings to the terabyte now. So that way I can... Oh! Oh! What the hell? That was nasty. Yeah, we got copper. Okay. So we put this in there. I got one quartz. Let's make some more titanium. Actually, you know what? Let's save that. Let's find the quartz first. And then we can make a sea moth. First episode, we can make a sea moth. I'm also gonna try and put, because survival games tend to go on for quite a long time. And with Age of Wonders as well. I'm gonna try and keep the episodes to around about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, possibly an hour. But that's only if we get really caught into the stuff. So this will probably just be a normal 30 minute, possibly a 20 minute episode. I generally like longer episodes, but I know people might like shorter episodes. So it really all depends on what you guys would like to see. Would you like to see longer episodes on the channel? Would you like to see sort of like normal 15 to 20 minute episodes on the channel. I don't mind either. Okay, that Reaper is sounding closer and closer. That was a stalker tail, Emergency. I'm sure of it. Ten seconds of yeah. oxygen remaining. Okay, let's swim back to the surface. Why am I on 25% health? Emergency. Readings from the Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. In T minus. Oh! Ten. Aurora's gonna nine, blow! Aurora's eight, gonna blow! Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Beautiful. Oh god, the Geiger counter's going way, 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 way out of it. New creature discovered. Whew. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> um, we need free quartz, don't we? To make the um, glass. Oh, oh, what the, what the. What is moving this? Stalker? Was a stalker moving my life pod? The Aurora has seen better days. I didn't think... Hmm. 
I am surprised by that. They can actually move the life pod. And I think that's the first time we've had a seamless transition into the water. Like, I think that's the first time it didn't lag when we went down into the water. This game just keeps getting better and better. Okay. So, I don't know how long this has been going on for. I'm pretty sure we're into, like, the second episode now. So, we're going to continue for a pretty long time with this session. Or at least as long as I can keep going for. So, we still need quartz. So we can make glass. And then we can make the sea moth. And then we've got Warning, the first... Seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, quartz. Okay, we can make one glass now. So once we get enough glass and then we can get the sea moth, we can focus on getting the um, the radiation suit, and then we can get to the aurora. Got that. Oh, inventory's full. Okay, so we best head back to the. Radiation detected. What? No! No, 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 no. Oh, why am I dying? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. No, 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 no. Oh, great. 5% health. That is not good. That is really not good. Get back inside my life pod. Radiation detected? What? How can that be radiation detected in my life pod? What? What is this? F what is this witchcraft? Oh god, do I have to push? Can I push? Do I have to push this life pod? Push! Push! I don't know if this is working. Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, it worked. Oh! So that stalker is a very smart stalker because it moved all of us closer to that bloody radiation. So we really need. Actually, you know what? I could. Oh no, I need glass for it, don't I? Actually, you know what? Let's check. Let's get the builder. Put that there. Put a four. Oh, where is it? There we go. Uh, what do I need for a locker? Titanium and glass. You know what? I think we might need it. Oh, I died, then I? I lost the quartz. You know what? Let's make a... Um... We're really gonna need to start using all this titanium. Okay, you know what? Let's, um... How am I gonna do this? There's no real way I can do this. You know what? Let's, um, let's just do this. Drop all these on the floor. Then I can make the titanium. Oh! Okay, who's moving? Who's moving my ship? Who'll be moving my ship? Did it just wobble left and right on its own, or was I seeing things? I think I might have been seeing things. Okay, let's make the titanium. Was I seeing things? That has now got me concerned. I'm worried there was another creature moving my life pod. Uh, that Reaper's really going at it, isn't he? I'm very big lungs. I think any is the biggest creature in the game. I don't really know if he's the biggest creature on the planet. But again, possibly could be bigger. Possibly could be bigger creatures out there. I know there are some really weird creatures out there, which I hope to never meet. And then again, I probably will. 
So that's all the titanium currently. So let's get all the titanium out of this. You've probably guessed what I'm going to do with it all. More titanium. And then we can get all this. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Oh! Get back in. Ports, air sac. Let's put these guys all in here. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to swim to the ocean floor. Away from the Aurora. And we're going to build a base. And hopefully, this one, I will remember where I put it. Specimen analyzer to make... What? Study specimens to make blueprints. Fragment analyzer studies fragments to make blueprints. What's the difference? Oh, a little bit of lag there. I'm worrying. Okay, and we'll pop this here. Build! We're going to make a base. And I know it's close to the life pod, but that's kind of what I want. I want it close to the life pod, so I don't have to do a massive swim between them. And I also want it farther enough away from the Aurora that we don't get radiation poisoning. I plan on making it a free by nope. Plan on making it a free by free. So let's continue to build it up. Go, I should have plenty of titanium for this. There we go. arm right. That looks like it's arm right. Let's get, make sure we don't drown. How much titanium do we have left? We've got a bit. Should have enough titanium to finish making the foundation at least. Maybe one more. I think we'll have enough titanium for one more. need more titanium. That's fine. We got most of the foundation done. And then we can start making the rest of it. So, let's... Is there any more scrap metal? I almost said scrap iron again. Is there any more scrap metal around? I don't want to go anywhere near you guys. That stuff hurts. I'm pretty sure that's what killed me that one time. And then the stalker just pushed my life pod to the radiation zone. But the radiation is spreading, which is alarming. So, there might be something we can do on the Aurora that might stop the spread of the radiation. But then again, I'm not too sure. And I do not plan on going anywhere near the Aurora. Unless we have our rugged submersible. Unless we have our Seamoth, sorry. And unless we have our radiation suit. Aha, we got plenty of quartz. We can make glass. Okay, so let's make a the glass. There we go. We need two of them, don't we? Let me just head back on this. Oh! Oh, please don't move anywhere. Let's climb on board. Uh... Yeah, we need two glass, free titanium, and a power cell. Okay. So we need free glass. That makes sense. I believe we need two more quartz then. Yeah. And we have the couple we're needed. We need, the ti we need free titanium. And we need a power cell. Power cell you need batteries for, so we're going to need more copper. And we're going to need acid mushrooms. So let's get these. Oh. 
go. We're going to need two of them for the power cell. Am I right on that? Is it two of them for the power cell? Um, where is it? Yeah, here it is. We need two batteries and silicone to make the power cell. We should be able to make the two batteries at least. Okay. Now we need the silicone to make the power cell. We only have one quartz. And I think we took all the quartz out of here. Yeah. So let's pop these back in. Acid mushrooms we can eat. And we need to go back outside in search of more quartz. Oh! Oh, there's quartz. I see it. It's right by one of these gits. Got it. Okay, let's head back. Then we can make a Oh, more. Okay. So now we can make silicone. Or we can make another glass. Let's make, um... Seeing as the glass costs the most... Oh wait, we only have... Do we only have two quartz? Oh, we had three. Yeah, we do have three. Oh, we did. Don't you lie to me, game. Okay. Let's make the glass because we need two glass for the uh, sea moth. That way we only need two quartz for silicone. We won't have to be spending as much time running around, hopefully. Well, swimming around. Not really running. I don't know. around the stalker. Okay, let's head down here. What are you? Copper. We need silver. Running. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you got blown up in the Aurora. Or are you on the life pod? Oh, she got blown up in the Aurora, didn't she? I don't know. So... We need silver. Like, we know where we can get the sea moth pretty easily. Silver! Okay, we need silver for the lead. And the lead we need for the radiation suit. More titanium, please. That's a crash! That is a crash! That is a crash if I have ever heard one. And I do not want to be anywhere near one. Let's get some creep vine. Whoops, stalker! been trained to hear them. Are they fighting each other? Please say yes. Ow! He bit me! Okay, let's head over here. We swim faster if we don't have anything in our hands. We still need silver. What are you? You are a sea moth fragment. Ooh, we can use you just in case we need to make another one. Alright, more quartz. Uh, we still need silver. I don't know how much silver we need to make lead, and I don't know how much lead we need. So... You never know, we might get to the Aurora within the first three episodes. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Because this is just one session, and then I'm gonna have to cut it down into... Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen ...succeeding remaining. episodes. So let's just grab this falling scrap metal. Here we go. And then we can swim back to the life pod. We can check the supplies we need. And then we can continue searching. I'm also wondering, how do we get into the Aurora? I think we get in from the front, because it looks like the front has been completely blown open. Let's just check what we need for the radiation suit. Radiation suit, we need two lead and two silicone. Okay. 
How much is it for lead? Lead is one silver and three copper. So we need two silver, six copper, and we need how many silicone was it? Two silicone? And four quartz. That's actually pretty cheap. Now that I think about it. And we do have quite a bit of copper. And we do have one silver, so we can get one lead made at least. So we might as well get one lead. There we go. And then we can... We need glass, don't... No, we need silicone. That's what we need. We need silicone. But we need quartz for that. And there's quartz... I have quartz armor, don't I? Yeah. So let's get quartz from... Oh no, we don't... I don't have quartz in here. What I did. Hmm. Okay, let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. There we go. Then we can make more titanium. Oh. Alright. Mouse. Obey me. to make the seam off. Power cell and glass. We have the glass. And the power cell is what we need the uh, silicone for. Because we have the two batteries, don't we? Let me just check. Let me through. Yep, we got two batteries. We just need the silicone. So that's what we need one more quartz for. And we've got the glass and we've got the copper. So all in all, we just need that and we can make the seam off. And then we can focus on making the 